friends, welcome to Richie's Planet, where I show you science experiments, Lego projects, coding and programming challenges, math tricks, as well as arts and crafts that I created. I love to do those and I am a big fan of STEAM. STEAM is science, technology, engineering, art and math. This is the Lego Power Functions box. It's for ages 9 to 16. It includes a battery box, a motor, lights, and a switch. I made a little project to explain all the functions. Now I will demonstrate. Before I show the, you the demonstration of the lights, I'll explain how the battery box works. For each side, you will put in three batteries, which makes it six batteries in complete total. One thing to know, in the lights, there's a black cube. You do not put the black cube on this. It's for putting in ordinary places like this. I'm going to show you the demonstration of how to explain those. These fit into little holes like these. I made a few colors and also explained the strong colors that you can put through which are best and which aren't really strong. To do this, you open this one is in between which makes it stop. This one is turning them on and so is the other side. The orange is pretty good. So is the light green. And however, if you mix colors, it won't show the color that you want it to. It will only show the color that's the most closest. The light blue isn't a very good choice because it's basically white. But however, the green, the pink, the red, and the yellow are very strong colors. If you put in one for one whole object, it will show the whole thing glowed up. But however, you can also put two things to glow up one whole object properly. Right now, I'm going to be explaining to you the motor and the switch. The motor, the power function set includes a small pole that you can fit inside to make it move. I made a little fan to show how it moves. The way that I made this fan grip on properly, one for, was with this because it fits through easier. But since it was a bit loose, I added these two gears which are also included in the power function, Lego power function set. How I made this is I did this, I added this on top and put this. And the pole that I was talking about before will not be stuck in, you can still take it out. I'm going to show you a little demonstration how to do it. But it includes the same rules as the other one, except one is for anti clock, one side of the switch is for anti clockwise, and the other side is for clockwise. This side, for me, right now, it is going anti-clockwise which means for you guys it's clockwise the, this is the anti-clockwise side I think. no the clockwise side and this side is the anti-clockwise side to move it so you turn it on but if it's in the middle you you probably would think it's not working but actually it's the off button if you move it on this side or this side it'll be on so now i'm going to show you 
how you can put two on. So you put it on the same way. And then you simply clip it onto whatever you want it to. So mine just turned on. And then you can put two things on at the same exact time. I made a little extended project to see if the motor can use the pipe to pull the switch to turn on the lights by itself. I'm going to see if it works. It turns out it my plan did work and it did glow the objects up. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and share. Bye.